Good morning, boys and girls. This week we're studying the Earth. And this is a wonderful book titled The Earth by David Bennett. We live on a planet called Earth. It is like a big ball in space that travels around and around the sun. There are other planets, some of them bigger, some of them smaller. Do you know any of the names of any of the other planets? There they are. Mars, Venus, Earth, Mercury, Jupiter. Thanks to air, water, and sunlight, our planet is filled with plants and animals. Everyone on Earth breathes air. It's part of an invisible blanket called atmosphere. You try to say that. Atmosphere. Over half the Earth is covered by water. The rest of the Earth is land. It's split into pieces like a jigsaw puzzle. These pieces are called continents. The water we use comes from rivers, streams, and lakes, but most of the water on Earth is found in salty oceans. Oceans are deep and full of mystery and alive with plants of every color and fish and sea animals of every size. Around the middle of the earth, it's very hot and rains almost every day. This part of the earth is called the equator. There's another new word for you, equator. Great jungles full of giant trees grow there. Brightly colored parrots screech as monkeys swing through the treetops. Unlike the equator, the top and bottom of the earth are very cold places. We call them the poles. Thick ice covers the land and floats in the water. Only a few plants and animals are able to live at the poles. Polar bears have thick fur that keep them from freezing during the cold winter. Deserts are some of the driest places on Earth. There's no rain, and there's only a few plants and animals in the desert. Camels can store water in their humps, right there. When it's hot and thirsty, it turns the fat into food. If we could slice open the earth, it would look like an apple. The land and water are like the skin of the apple, and the middle of the earth is like the apple's core. Underneath the land and water, the rock is so hot it melts. The Earth's core. The Earth is millions and millions of years old. It's changing all the time. Mountains are formed when pieces of land move together. Over time, wind and rain wear down mountains, and these things happen very slowly. But there are changes that happen very quickly, like an earthquake. And volcanoes are found where the earth's skin has cracked open. We have learned many things now studying the earth, but if we want our planet to last a million million more years, we have to learn ways to take care of it. That's what we'll talk about tomorrow. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.